Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of The Suited Shootist. And given how successful and, and well-received the best-dressed gunman in movies and TV was, I wanted to kind of turn that 180, turn the camera around, if you would, and take a look at regular folks. And so what I decided to do is kind of put together a, a list of what you're carrying based on how you dress. Now, I will preface this by saying this is all very tongue-in-cheek. It is purely satire, and uh, it is not to be taken seriously. So, uh, invariably, there are probably going to be some angry comments, but uh, to that, all I say is, lighten up, Francis. We're supposed to be having some fun here. So, to jump into it, uh, probably the most maligned is going to be, you've heard me talk smack about it before, let's look at the Suburban Dad uniform. So, if we're looking at cargo shorts, tube socks, New Balance sneakers, maybe a polo shirt, but more likely some kind of graphic t-shirt. If this is your daily uniform, you're probably carrying an XD, a, a Taurus, or a Canic. You know, something where they are not, you know, service pistols, but when you went to the counter, you looked at it and goes, yeah, that's, it's probably good enough. And so, most of that is because that's kind of the, the, the general outlook. And you're not too worried about if you get killed in the streets because you're probably already a little dead inside. <laughs> uh, jumping next, this is one of the ones that I saw quite a bit working a gun counter in Texas. And we're looking at the Wrangler jeans, the Ariat boots, and the Pearl Snap shirt, and the Stetson. Any kind of that full-blown Western gear, you're carrying a nickel 1911 with either stag or ivory stocks, or you're carrying a full-blown barbecue gun. Now, for those of you that are not from the South, that are unfamiliar with the idea of a barbecue gun, at least here in Texas, that is a chrome or nickel 1911 in 38 Super with almost bedazzled grips. Usually, it's going to be either some Catholic iconography or some kind of bull with rubies for the eyes. Moving over, scrubs. For those of you that work in the medical field, if you wear scrubs to work, you're carrying a C-Camp 32. There's really no two ways about it. <laughs> now, obviously, with the uh, introduction of the Enigma and some of the uh, kind of the, the glut of micro-compact guns, it's changed uh, in, the, uh, in the last few years, but you talk to anybody that's worked firearms retail for any period of time, and this is a stereotype for a reason. Workwear. Now, this will, you know, anything from Carhartt, Dickies, any of that, chinos, denim, a solid pair of work boots. You know, somebody that uh, you know, somebody that that works with their hands for a living. In that instance, you're probably carrying either a stock Glock 19 or possibly some kind of 38 J frame, just because you know you don't have a whole lot of emotional investment in the tool. You're a pragmatist and you just want something that's going to get the job done. Moving on, if your daily attire is a grunt style t-shirt that's maybe a size too small, 5'11 or Vertex uh, jeans, and uh, you know Solomon trail shoes, I'd be willing to put even money that you're running either a Roland Special or a Shadow Systems or some kind of kind of Gucci'd out Glock. And uh, yet for some reason don't own a shot timer and uh, your accuracy standard is generally minute a bad guy. If that one strikes a little too close to home, sorry. <laughs> Next, let's look at something that's going to be a little bit more my speed. If you're looking at either business casual or something to that effect, you know, dockers, button-down shirt, and uh, maybe Sperry's or a pair of loafers. You are probably carrying either a P365, maybe some kind of flavor of Beretta 92, or a CZ P10 variant. You're not necessarily trying to impress anybody with your choices, but you are trying to display a slightly higher level of sophistication. And, uh, you know, it's something that you have at least a passing interest in. So you wanted something that was not quite the mainstream, not the Honda Accord, but performance it was, was still a top priority for you. And then lastly, luxury. So, you know, if you're one of those that's rolling around in like the, the five to $10,000 suits and you've got the, uh, the, the $1,500 uh, 
Italian shoes made out of some, uh, you know, near in danger type of creature. Odds are you're going to be carrying, you want people to know that you're better than them. So in your holster, you're likely to find a SIG 210, or if you're truly a man of sophistication, it's going to be some kind of Ted Yost 1911 or high power. You're talking about probably one of the best gunsmiths in the country whose waiting lists are years long if the books are even open anymore. And the idea with this is it's subtle sophistication, but you're still looking to flex. So this is kind of the, the breakdown. If you fall into one of these categories, how close did I get? Uh, I'd love to hear that. And like I said, this was all just very much meant uh, kind of in good humor. I'm not actually picking on anybody. So, uh, it, you know, have at me in the comments. Uh, you know, let's, let's, let's have some fun with this. And so, yeah, what do you guys think? How close did I get? What groups should I have included that I didn't talk about? Put it down in the comments. So, yeah, aside from that, hope everybody has a great week. Stay dangerous and stay sharp. <laughs>